What up, Doconners? The seven-year anniversary is now confirmed to be different on Global than it was on JP, and that is all thanks to these two little nerds right here. So we're going to talk about that in just a second. We're going to be looking at the Global Dokkan producer's letter brought to us by Koto herself. This released about two hours or so after the start of the seven-year anniversary. I was actually live streaming at the time, so if you guys want to check it out, feel free. I have the video, the live stream still up because it's the seven-year. Everybody's back. I want you to guys have as much content as possible to watch if you so choose so feel free to check that out but uh, we're gonna go through this again because I didn't really get a chance to read some of the things that she was talking about because I was kind of preoccupied with the live stream so let's just go through this uh point by point I'm not gonna make you guys watch the whole thing if you choose to feel free to just go to the uh global doc on Twitter and you can find it there um this is a five minute video uh, I, I will say though at the start it is a nice touch that she includes Guten Tag and Ola because obviously German and Spanish are now officially supported so um it was nice of them to uh, include that but let's go over the main three talking points that she has in this video three of them so the first one has to do with music music regarding the gods and the monkeys so what's cool about this is that she's actually or not she they are going to be releasing the actual music from the various like source material that they're from blizzard for obviously the gods from the dragon ball super broly movie Dandan Dan Kokoro from the Dragon Ball GT, the JP version, and Chala He Chala, which is like one of the main Dragon Ball songs out there. So if you are a content creator, a little pro tip, do not play these, because if you do, you're going to get claimed. And uh, I originally thought on live, on the live stream, that these were just like a little explanation as far as like why they're doing this. But in fact, there's actually a lot more to it. It's not something that's going to be showing up on the banners, which is what they typically do on Legends. This is going to be happening in the actual events, which is awesome. So on the final phase of stage one of the Dokkan event, Saiyans Forged in Battle, Super 2 difficulty, you will be able to have this music play. So when you guys are playing and you love these songs, feel free to turn on your music so that you don't miss out on that. Starting from level 21 of the Extreme Z Battle Destined Rivals 4, the 7th Anniversary Celebration Part 2 at the... Uh, oh, it's going to be starting from 7th Anniversary Celebration Part 2 until the end of the 7 year celebration interesting so starting from level 21 of the extremes of battle destined rivals stage four isn't that what the super saiyan fours are that's what these are right so is that like a soft confirmation oh no 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 you know what this is uh five okay 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 four are the gods that's what it is so the destined rivals saga four is god goku and vegeta so starting from stage 21 of that um infinitely you will be able to play blizzard and then for the final phase of stage seven versus broly on the nfl red zone super three difficulty starting from part three of the celebration all the way until the end you'll also be able to play that song so that's really cool there's actually an incentive to turn on the background music for a change i know a lot of you guys tend to not do that because maybe you're just you've heard the dokkan songs a lot these are not dokkan songs these are actual like mainline songs from dragon ball so this is a definite good reason to turn on your music once again really cool same thing for the gt song final phase of stage three of the dokkan event unrivaled ultimate fusion this is of course referring to the new dokkan events that will be dropping during part one so these are the two events right here um saiyans forged in battle ultimate unrivaled fusion both of these will be giving us the songs on stage three super two difficulty starting from level 23 of the extreme z battle super saiyan 4 gogeta versus omega shenron that is also going to be happening during part two final phase stage seven of the sin shenron on the nfl red zone that will be dropping during part three so on those stages you will be able to experience those songs and i think that is a big big w and then lastly on the home screen the middle of part two of the seventh anniversary celebration all the way until the end we will be hearing chala hey chala so uh yeah that's pretty cool moving on to the next part here uh what was the next thing that she talked about i think it was the uh yeah, the, the figure arts. So they're doing a collaboration with the Tamashi Nations. And uh, this is like a special... Well, this is obviously the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta LR, the physical, the new unit. They've turned it into a, into a figure. So they are going to be selling this uh, in July 2022 on sale in local stores. Here's the QR code if you want to scan that. Feel free. Or if you want to get more details, I'm basically plugging it for them. Figure Arts Zero Gogeta. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I know a lot of people do uh, collect and are interested in these types of things. I know Goresh is a big fan of that stuff. Uh, they basically collaborated with Bandai Spirits since the planning stages, which is pretty awesome. Uh, moving on now. So the last and final thing is obviously the global first event. Uh, this is because of the Goku and Vegeta Jr. I'm trying to find where she actually says it. Here we go. So uh, this is basically... Okay, the third announcement was talking about the banners. The banners are going to be dropping basically today. They didn't say when, they just said today. 
But then this is the surprise final announcement. We have one more announcement. Global Dokkan will be receiving a new event first before JP. We are currently preparing an event that will be released for the international version for the seventh anniversary celebration. The starting time of the event is still a secret. Final part. But we have something everyone will surely enjoy. And that's all we got. Please look forward to it. So this is basically going to be happening in replacement of the Vegeta Jr. Goku Jr. event that released earlier for Global Dokkan. So on the JP side, they got this during the EX part along with the Super Saiyan 4s, but Global received this during the Saiyan Day celebration. And how this worked is while JP had their own event where they were catching up from Global, Global was receiving this event where they're kind of, I guess, getting ahead or catching up with JP. So Global had this, not just the event itself, but the easy area. And then during the same day celebration for JP, JP received the easy area at the same time. And then they also got the uh, great ape easy A's that Global had been holding onto for like half a year. So these are the two events that they had. These are the two events that Global had, which is basically two parts of the same thing. And that explains why that is the case. I don't really understand it. I mean, I guess the Extreme Z area portion was happening simultaneously for both versions. And since Saiyan Day is a simultaneous celebration, I guess they wanted to have that one point of convergence so that Global and JP players could talk. I mean, I don't know. Um, but now that that's gone, what are they going to throw in here in replacement? That is what the new Global First event is going to be all about. So for those of you who have been hoping and praying for another Global First, here it is. It is not going to be a Global First banner. It is going to be a Global First event. Whatever that ends up being, you tell me, because your guess is as good as mine. I, I don't know. Movie stuff? Um, something pertaining to the future saga? I have no idea. Maybe... Maybe it's some sort of a precursor to the worldwide download celebration. I have no idea. So you let me know in the comments if you have any possible theories as to what this mysterious global first event will be. And let's have a discussion down in the comments down below. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below and let me know in the comments your thoughts on the music being playable in game. What do you think about that? It's not just it's not going to be happening on the banners. It's going to be happening in game. Do these songs give you enough of a reason to turn back on the Dokkan music? Or are you still all about playing it silently, jamming to whatever songs you listen to normally? Let me know why in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more Dokkan set of the future and click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it. Thanks again. Stay tuned and always remember to Dokkan responsibly.